Well, here's something you don't see very often. It's a ghost-detecting Christmas card that detects electrostatic fields around the card and warns you of the presence of evil ghosts. So, um, I'll show you how this works. I should explain that one of my friends uh, um, is into ghost hunting. It's his latest hobby. And he asked me about uh, the ghost detector circuits that have an antenna and they detect when a ghost is present. It actually detects the electrostatic field supposedly generated by spirits. So this circuit here um, is really old. This I can remember making this very circuit when I was, um, oh, 11 years old or something like that. So oh, goodness knows, it was just... It's so long ago, um, and it's very simple. It's almost like a Darlington, but it's actually a three-stage transistor, so it's got super gain because it basically it multiplies three times the gain of the transistor. Now, the transistors used are BC547s. The reason for that is that they're a general-purpose NPN transistor in the UK. They really are very common. They're, they're one of the cheapest transistors. I'm not sure what an equivalent would be in America if you can't get the BC547. But the main thing is, it's just a general purpose, small signal, NPN transistor. So, what happens is, there's a 1 mega ohm resistor here. When the antenna picks up um, a slight charge, and that transistor turns on even the slightest bit, the current flows through and into the gate of this into the base of this transistor, which turns it on slightly, and then it, it amplifies effect to the stage before, and um, it finally turns on the third transistor, which then lights some LEDs. Um, I designed this uh, variant to just run off 9 volts, so it's got two LEDs in series, and a 470 ohm resistor to limit the current through them to about 10 milliamps. So, um, it's hardwired inside the Christmas card, and the components, this is the transistors viewed from the bottom, just to make it easy to show how they're hooked up. And really, the, the leads are just soldered together. Um, it's very simple arrangement. I, I'll show you the, I'll show you inside the card. Here we go. That's it inside the card. Uh, a little PP3 battery clip onto a 9-volt battery. You can see the LEDs flickering there. Um, the LEDs wired in series and just basically poked through the surface of the card uh, in the place of the eyes. The antenna is coming out of Sander's hand and it goes to the tr first transistor, then uh, that's the 1 mega ohm resistor, that's the 100 kilo ohm resistor and that's the 470 ohm resistor. Actually, actually a, a 1k resistor I've used there. I've, uh, well, it doesn't make any odds, it's going to light just as bright anyway. So um, that's the three transistor stage. Now I did notice when putting it into the card that you have to uh, put a layer of sellotape down first to insulate it from the card because the card absorbs moisture and it effectively, really, this circuit is so sensitive that the fact that the, the cardboard is slightly, very slightly conductive means that it can sort of limit the sensitivity of the antenna, uh, of the circuit in general. So um, the antenna itself, which comes out of Sander's hand, is just about a foot. I put down here, I put down 150 mil, 6 inch 150 mil. I found it needed a longer antenna, so say about um, 300 mil a foot to, for the antenna. And that's fundamentally it. Uh, this is the arranger inside. This is it in the card. Um, and I'll just put that battery at the bottom so it's out of the way. Basically speaking, it just detects any sort of field in the vicinity, any differential of an um, electrostatic field around it. Very odd, quite amusing really. But there you go, a silly project.